Hello everyone, and welcome to the first system test of the Kensex Synchro. Uh, and this panel is really nice, um, and the system is currently functional. Um, but for now, the project uh, is definitely very incomplete. Um, first piece of evidence of this is you can see what is the permanent loop or at least what's actually part of the project and the temporary fix to stop it from giving me a an open circuit fault. Um, the white flex is just because I'm not going to cut a piece of FP um, that I'm not going to need because there's a reel down there. Um, there isn't much of it and it's very expensive. Um, but these are the keys to the panel. They're very nice, although this one didn't actually come with the panel. I had to buy this separately. Um, and the arrangement's changed in that these are the only keys that are out. Um, my keys are actually hanging in there. There's also glass, uh, can smoke, and batteries that are way too small for the panel. You can also see... Um, the wiring for the loop and also the sounder circuit. I don't really need that bit of earth wire because I'm not using the earth feature. Uh, but the sounders and the detection devices are all the same, uh, except that the sounders are on medium sweep. Um, hopefully by the next test, this is going to be installed. Um, It'll just be kind of in this area. I haven't decided yet, but hopefully after the test, uh, I'm going to start installing that. Um, that Roshni, it is a Roshni, uh, used to be up there, but um, it was way too loud, and so I put the Squashni back. Although that wasn't in a test. I just decided it was way too loud for this area. And I'm hungry. Hmm, purple. So I'm going to start with the synapse call point. Um, one thing you'll notice um, with this, the sound is going to go off uh, way quicker than it did with the C Tech, uh, because the C Tech, for some reason or another, had quite a long verification delay. This one's much quicker, and I do prefer it being quicker. But yeah. And you'll notice uh, I have a sticker over what should be function 1 saying fire drill and auxiliary 1 um, saying fire drill. So I'm going to press this again and you'll notice, hopefully, fingers crossed, that is not going to go off. No, it's, it doesn't go off. But if I were to press the fire drill button, and I'll reset the call point quickly because I probably have to for it to work. That light should come on so you can tell whether or not it's a drill. That does alert, but I don't have a um, an auxiliary hooked up to that yet. The fire um, does come on, even though it's only the evacuate function, not a fire function. Although you can set it to trigger a fire. So what I'm going to do now is test one of the detectors. Um, because with this um, zone module, it actually takes um, two different types of um, end-of-line devices. There's the, the resistor it's supplied with, and you can use an active end of line um, and 
when I used the resistor as an end of line, for some reason or another, um, it didn't like the diodes in the de uh, detector bases. So rather than going and um, swapping out all the diodes and the detectors, I just used one of the active end of line devices that I already had. Um, and if you don't know what um, they are, they're basically kind of mini circuit board about that big, maybe, with a couple wires attached. And basically, it's a slightly older end of line device that uses slightly more current, but that doesn't really matter on um, a system this small. Hence why end of line devices are generally used in smaller, older systems. Uh, generally, I think with the JSB panels. Uh, I'm going to test this one um, because it used to be a heat. Uh, I've just swapped out the heat for now. Uh, my phone just went off. Um, so I'll spray this. Hopefully, um, this one doesn't have a tendency to reactivate. That's great, it works. Alright, so I'm going to call that a day for now. Um, thank you for watching this test. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Please rate, comment and subscribe.